I'd like to welcome each and every one of the World War II veterans today. This is a special trip to tour the, the incredible uh, National World War II Museum. You should particularly feel comfortable here in the city of Kenner, which has been named uh, in the top 10 cities by livability.com for veterans to live. I know that each of you will enjoy, even more importantly, the museum and its visitors, and they will benefit from each and every one of you. The ability to collect more first-person accounts from the members of the greatest generation will be invaluable, adding more rich detail to the collections of stories at the National World War II Museum. We would also like to again thank the Gary Sinise Foundation, which works to honor veterans, first responders, and families by arranging these trips. I look forward to at, at the group's impressive website and a quote that Gary Sinise said that stuck with me. While we can never do enough to show our gratitude as the, uh, to the nation's defenders, we can always do a little more. And that's exactly what the Sinise Foundation has done today. The Soaring Valor Program has a special meaning to me, in part because I serve in the United States Navy Reserve, but more importantly because my grandfathers, Joe Yenny and Matthew Munwa, were both in the United States Navy Reserve during World War II and, ser and served with honor and distinction for this country. It has been more than 70 years since Allied troops stormed the beaches of Normandy, and efforts like this, along with facilities like the National World War II Museum, ensure that future generations will never forget the importance of war and the bravery of America's young soldiers. And you can see by the future generations that came out today, our, our baseball players that were here, our softball players, all of the men and women serving today, they certainly appreciate your service. Let me end with a quote by former President Ronald Reagan, given 31 years ago at Normandy, yet words that still ring true today. One's country is worth dying for, and democracy is worth dying for because it's the most deeply honorable form of government ever devised by man. We in America have learned bitter lessons from the world wars. It is, it is better that to be here ready to protect in peace than to live in blind shelter across a sea rushing to respond when freedom is lost. May God bless each of you, this great nation, and all of the veterans that, that are here today. Thank you so much. It is my honor. Um, I'm, sure he, I'm sure he'd rather not accept this, but I'm going to do this because I understand he's a very humble man and doesn't like accolades. But Mr. Sinise, will you accept a key to the city on behalf of the citizens of Kenner and uh, the greatest man in America?